Hey everyone and welcome to a new series of Disney World vlogs. I can't believe there's another one so soon. I'm very, very excited and Ian Hello. is here. Um, we actually traveled up separately. I came up on the train, Ian was doing something. I can't believe how bouncy I am actually yeah. because I was up very early this morning. I was gonna say, it's, it's the Florida effect yeah. of just being that excited. Um, so we're here at the Premier Inn at Gatwick and I had a sneaky little nap when I got here because I was mm. pretty um, tired. I was up late last night. Well, I so. sort of arrived, didn't I, and tried to get in touch with you by messenger to find out what room our room is, <laughs> and was getting no reply. So I had to phone you, and I got an answer that was like, Sleepy. Hello? <laughs> Sleepy. I was up really late last night. So anyway, we're here, and it's reasonably late. Um, it's like 7.30, I don't know, something, yeah, like, something that. like that. So we're just going to go and grab some dinner, hopefully downstairs here in the hotel, but on a Saturday night, the restaurant here does get very, very busy. It looked pretty rammed when so. I was coming up. But mm, I don't we'll really see. want to go to the terminal because it's cold outside. It's it is so cold. <laughs> when um, I left home, it really wasn't that bad. And then I got to like halfway when I had to switch trains and then here mm. and it's freezing. It's the same where I was in Reading today, which is where you switch trains. Mm. And I, it was really cold there, which I don't really understand because it's not really much further north than where we live. But I don't know. It's freezing. Oh, well. So anyway, if we have to, we'll go across to the terminal. But otherwise, uh, let's go eat something downstairs. Yes, please. So we managed to get a seat in yes. the restaurant. We're really lucky actually because we asked how long the wait was and they said 90 minutes. Like 90 minutes. Oh. And we were like, we were like, I'm even ahhing, just like, I want to go to the terminal. And then she was like, oh, actually, I've got a cancellation. And so we only had to wait half an hour. Yeah, which was so good. We're having a little, little drinky. Yeah. Yes. So we are back from our dinner in the restaurant here at Premier Inn and it was fine. It was very, very busy in there. So the service was kind of crazy and it took quite a while and I got the wrong food and, but it was fine. It was actually okay. And we had some really funny people sat next to us. Um, they weren't being deliberately funny. Like we were finding it funny what they were talking about. But yeah, overall it was absolutely fine. And now we are just going to sort out a few things and then we are going to go to bed. We don't have an early start in the morning particularly. Um, so that's fine we're having breakfast here at the hotel and then we will make our way over to the terminal and just get ready to go I'm very excited mm -hmm. we've got an afternoon flight and um, but we want to obviously just kind of mooch around a little bit well ian doesn't want to mooch around ian doesn't like mooching no no ian doesn't like shopping so that's it for tonight and we'll see you guys in the morning bye no. Good morning. morning! It's Florida day! <laughs> I'm so excited. I really, really am excited. We've just been down to breakfast, which was good, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I think we had too much, but that's Yeah, <laughs> but we try and like fill up on that because we don't like to eat on the plane normally. And with Norwegian, it's one of those things where you choose to like have a cheaper fare or whether to like have food included, so we never do. So yeah, we had a big breakfast, <laughs> but I'm very excited. Yes, Cannot we wait. all our stuff packed up. We did a pretty yeah. good job this morning, didn't we? Yeah. Getting ready and like normally we're a bit... Behind. We're not in a rush, which we're is good. Rush, so no, we're good. but then we're not flying till three, so that is quite a lot later. How can you be in a rush? We're both very tired, though, aren't we? Yeah, I think I the don't last think we slept very well last night. No, and the last few days have been like super tiring as well. But it's all good. We can sleep on the plane, or you can. I don't normally sleep that good <laughs> on the plane, but um, we've packed everything. We've got one suitcase between the two of us, so. Fingers yes. crossed that it's not mm. over the weight limit. We will see, but we're going to weigh it before we uh, go to actually check in. So let's head across to Terminal.
time is still stay in the daydream chase the okay slight luggage issues there Ooh, i knew that was going to be over but we think we've got it sorted hopefully we've just done some shuffling around Take a while though, but we're in. We're sorted. Like tiny. Yeah, you do. <laughs> got a giant head. Well, I have anyway, but now I definitely do. So I got my new headphones. Check these out. How cool are these? They're not quite as good as my Apple ones. I just tried them, but they're absolutely fine. And they match my little um, zippy up travel pouch thing. This was very kindly gifted to me by Mr. Misa. So I will link their shop below. If you like cats and you like bright colors, you will love their stuff. And I can't quite get over how quiet it is here today. It's really quiet, isn't it? Yeah, like normally it is manic, it's hustle, bustle. And I think it's because we're on a later flight. So normally on a weekend, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, if we're here for like a flight that leaves at half 10 yeah. or something, it's mad. But yeah, it's super, super quiet. Like there's not many people around. Sorry, I was just leaning in. Ian's trying to stay awake, but. I don't know why I'm so tired. Like, I guess I just didn't sleep good last night. No. So we got our gate, gate 21. We were, yeah, we were really excited about getting away on time, but there's a problem with the, car the cargo van. Yeah, they said it was damaged or something. Yeah, I don't so know. So they got moved all the cargo and the bags. So they said it's going to be half an hour. They were thinking about changing the plane. Oh my god, we didn't do that. That would be really annoying. So hopefully, get away soon. like it's been a longer travel day than normal purely because we arrived here so late but actually it's I guess been the same length of travel day the flight was absolutely fine um it was just you know the usual nothing exciting we got through security fairly quickly and through baggage claim and everything it was kind of difficult to vlog because I'm not used to turning up here when it's dark usually whatever flight time I have that it's actually still daylight when we get here but tonight it's obviously dark so I couldn't really vlog on Magical Express very much and stuff uh, but yeah we are just getting ourselves unpacked and I don't even know what time it is it's quite late isn't it uh, yeah, it's like 11. Oh, yeah. So we were going to go to Disney Springs and get Blaze Pizza. Clearly, we're not going to do that. So we've just ordered some Uber Eats just to have something quickly because we're pretty tired as well and want to get to bed. But I am going to unpack because I'm one of those people who just has to do that right away. I've already got my ears back here. I found a little ear nook in the corner. And um, I will give you a room tour probably in the morning when the lighting is a bit better. And this is just a bit more awake. And Ian is feeling the pace somewhat yeah i like i fell asleep a bit on the plane at the start yeah but i just feel drained i always find doing these flights pretty tiring yeah it's i don't find it too bad but then just in general in our lives i don't sleep very much mm -hmm. and you love sleeping so i do love sleeping surprise. plus you do this trip more often than i do yeah so you're kind of used to it i guess yeah but it's um like i say it's just so much later than we used to so it's fine we'll just eat something and i will obviously show you um the food when it gets here so i'll yeah. insert that now 
So our food has arrived. I have the salad that I always get, and this is the chicken that you put on top, and I also got a broccoli soup, and Ian has buffalo boneless wings mm -hmm. and some fries. But yes, we are pretty much gonna wrap up filming for today. This will be combined with tomorrow, which is gonna be Galaxy's Edge, and it's Ian's first time <sighs> seeing Galaxy's Edge, your first time seeing Toy Story Land as well. I'm really excited about so... all of this. I know I might not seem very excited. It's, he's just moment, too sleepy. To I am just dying, but yes, <laughs> that is very exciting. Also, this bed came with like a mountain of pillows. We have laughed about the pillow mountain before. <laughs> Whenever you stay at Pop Century, because they have the um, fold up, a fold down, I should say, Hold bed. Up fold down bed. Um, they put all of the pillows on this bed, so there's literally like 10 pillows or something. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's like a huge mountain. It's quite well, nice. It's quite nice. Uh, yeah. Like just, yeah. It's very comfortable. <laughs> we obviously are going to be going back there for um, the opening of Rise of the Resistance yes. on the 5th, but tomorrow will mainly just be like Ian experiencing all of this stuff for the first time, which I'm super excited about. It's going to be cold, I think, the next few days, or cold for Not Florida. Like cold, cold, but yeah, colder. Cold for Florida. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed our travel day. I feel like it wasn't very much of a travel day, <laughs> but we definitely will be um, right back in a second, what seems like a second for you guys, for tomorrow morning. So we will see you then. Good morning. morning. We are feeling somewhat rested. <laughs> um, it was so late last night. We're a little bit tired and uh, left the room a little bit later than we would have liked to for yeah. that reason. But we're going to do our best. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do feel like I might be coming down with something, but <laughs> fingers crossed I'm not. So we're going to do our best and just yeah. see how long we can last at Hollywood Studios this morning. <laughs> and we want to go to Walmart as well to uh, get some supplies oh, for yeah. the room because we're reasonably far away from the lobby. So just for getting like milk for our coffee yeah. and stuff like that. So we'll get all of that at Walmart but we're excited this morning to go to Galaxy's Edge. Yes, first time for me. Yes, and my outfit didn't pan out because I did have a very, very cool outfit today, but it's a little bit chilly, so I have a sweater on, <laughs> which is very strange at Disney. But mm, it's a new experience. Yes, it does get a bit cold at this time of year. It's not cold, but it's just fresh. Cooler than usual. Yes, fresh. It's actually very nice. It is, yeah. It's I bright, like but it. it's and we're just walking past where Kate and I were staying last time we stayed here in the uh, 70s. Is it 70s? Yes. Yes, 70s section. Yeah, there's a mood ring. <laughs> of course, of course, and a platform shoe. And we are in 80s on this trip. Yeah. So we're just going through Classic Hall to go and get the bus. Hopefully the buses will be kind to us yeah. since we are a little bit behind schedule. <laughs> and there's a very Christmassy vibe here at Pop Century. Yeah. Which I love. This tree is amazing. Some huge gingerbread people. Yeah, it. that's so cool. That is cool. They must have those like really tied on because 100%. Yeah. If somebody fancied the look of that, <laughs> they might try and it's take like, them away. That's really cool. That's really cool. If we put that on our tree, though, literally like, oh, like, it would, like <laughs> take, tree up, over. take up half the tree. <laughs> so out the front is where you get your bus. I was going to say it's my first Disney transportation, but it's not because we did the Magical Express. Yes, true. Ian is wearing his pork t-shirt today from Magical Day Apparel. <laughs> they do have amazing t-shirts, so I'll link them it's below. So yeah, they have really good stuff. Yeah, we had to get this one, considering we're going to get I had to get this for Ian, like how cool is that? <laughs> And the first fail of the day, we actually forgot to get the skyline. <laughs> we just went straight for the bus without even thinking, we were just on autopilot. It didn't even cross our minds, did it? No, and then we were like, wait, we're at Pop Century. We totally could have got the skyline. Now, I've got an excuse, because this is my first trip where the skyline has existed, so yeah, I'm still true. a noob, but you should have known better. I know, I just didn't even think. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we're missing something here, because this is crazy. Like, the park is already open. So this isn't like everybody waiting for it to open. What the heck? So we are through. I think it was just security that was completely crazy. Yeah, it was just really rammed. Yeah, it was really weird. And we ran into Lindsay and her family. Oh and, yeah. And uh, let's say hi to you guys. Hello. And they were saying they've been here a couple of days. It hasn't been like this at the other parks. So I no, think- No, even over just... Thanksgiving, they said it hasn't been this busy. Yeah. <laughs> we're running people over. Traffic. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think this yeah, is just random. It must just be know. an anomaly. We don't know. We'll deal with it. Let's go get a coffee. Yes, let's get into the park. <laughs> 
Have a good day, mate. Good to go. We are in. Um, I didn't actually have to do my finger scan, which was quite yeah, weird. Was, yeah. I did have to do mine. Yes. They obviously trust you more than they trust me. Yeah, maybe. And um, I just want to say a huge, huge thank yes. you to Disney for providing Ian's park admission for this trip. And um, I have a whole video about how you link your Disney tickets when you purchase them directly from Disney to my Disney experience. Um, it's really, really straightforward. And anyone who is staying in a villa or in an off-site hotel and you need to purchase your tickets for this year, um, I will leave the link below and it's really really easy and like I say you can watch that video on how to get yourself yes. all set up but to... thank you Disney yes I'm thank here you because so of them <laughs> we're perusing the pastries all of a sudden as soon as we walked in I feel like I could eat something we're at Disney Funny that. so it begins <laughs> this looks amazing it doesn't have a thing to say what it's called it looks like what we would call in the UK a custard slice went for the big one but that is massive. I like coffee. Yeah, we do need coffee. And I apparently am also Ian. <laughs> and I've got a chestnut praline latte. So we'll see what this is like. And we also had to go for this, which is one of the holiday snacks. And it's the praline pine cone. Yes. So I think this is like a mousse inside. And then it's got like a, almost like a corn flaky yeah. base. Should I just go straight in and know. like I'll slice and, it down yeah, the middle? Yeah, just slice it down. Like, I'll hold. Oh, it's softer than I thought. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh, okay. That's pretty yum. That's pretty cool. That looks so good. So we decided to walk and drink because it's actually really chilly in the shade. Yeah, when you're in the shade and the wind blows, it's actually pretty cold. I do think it's only supposed to be the next couple of days, so it should be absolutely fine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's okay when you're moving as well. I actually prefer it to being too hot, so for me yes. it's all good. And you can definitely tell the locals from the tourists because locals, literally, I've seen people in gloves. I've seen people in, like... <laughs> yeah trousers and like a hoodie and a jacket on top and then there's people like me who are wearing <laughs> shorts we brits have to take like decent weather where we can oh yeah like this is like a very pleasant summer's day for us yeah and we're gonna head straight for galaxy's edge because someone is excited <laughs> to see it for the first time i really am yeah like i've seen some stuff on youtube but I don't think anything's going to compare to actually seeing it for real, so yeah. I'm very excited about it. Do you know that. one thing I'm really excited for you to see is the Porg Puppet? I know, I really... <laughs> so, I'm sure a lot of you folks that watch Victoria's vlogs have seen the Porg in the intro. That is probably my personal <laughs> ultimate favourite part of the vlogs, because that Porg is so, just so damn funny. It is so cute. I'm not completely ruling out that one might end up coming home with us, Ooh, but wow. we'll see. But we adopting are... a porg that's you know serious business it is especially as we're building a droid today so that we're already coming. adopting a, a bb unit so <laughs> like a porg as well we gotta make sure they play nice together right that's true so star tours is currently 30 minutes which that's is not good. too bad yeah that's pretty good but we're gonna bypass it for now i think most people are doing that which is probably why it's only 30 minutes and another thing that we really want to do on this trip is go to baseline tap house which is just over here because i haven't done that yet and neither is ian oh yeah so, they, oh, does that have like craft beer and stuff? Yeah, I think so. Oh, now I'm interested. <laughs> Suddenly Ian's interest is peaked there. So we've got a reservation for dinner at Sci-Fi, don't we? Yes. Which maybe before we go to Sci-Fi, we go to Baseline Tap House. True. It depends how we last out because it's not till 7.30. Yeah. Um, so we will see where the day takes us. We might have to move it if um, we're too tired. But, we, you know, we might, yeah. might surprise ourselves. <laughs> There goes Chewy. <laughs> and we're in, and this is one of the stores that I'm pretty sure Ian is going to love because this is where the porgs live. Oh, yes, let's go look at the Let's go and see a porg. <laughs> That's so cute. Matches your shirt, too. Look how happy this guy is. <laughs> and he's got his little porg. So cute. That is adorable. Oh, yeah, there's Ray. I should get that for my mum. Yeah, that's funny. My mum's name is Ray, just in case anyone's wondering why I would get that for oh, her. Storm Even Stormtroopers are cute in this format. They're so good, aren't they? They even look like, the way they're printed, they look like a bit weathered. Yeah. And then into Ronto Roasters, which is really cool because there's like a droid roasting scary looking meat. Yeah, I hope none of these are And Ronto Roasters has a morning wrap that you can get which has um, omelettes, I think yeah. sausage and something else. Uh, cheese. Cheese, shredded cheese. Yep. Peppercorn sauce and it's wrapped in a pizza. That sounds pretty nice. It's very noisy in here. It is, yeah. The roasting is noisy. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, that does not look appetizing. And I can see claws. He must get fired out doing that. I wonder if they work on rotation. <laughs> 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 Just a 
phone, young traveler. Have you come to a town looking for adventure? We're looking for trouble. Hold on. We're tracking a unit of resistance spies traveling with a young master codebreaker. About the age of... this one. Well, enjoy your visit. So the end of the line for Millennium Falcon is right back here by Ogre's Cantina. You see the um, cast member with the sign there. So we're going to hold off for a minute and just take a little bit of a look around. Ian's not seen any of this yet, so there's plenty for us to look at. And we just got photo pass. It was one of those where you're like they're taking a picture with you guys facing the other way. Oh yeah. And um, we didn't know when they were done. We were like, <laughs> okay, how long do we stand here for? And actually, somebody was telling us they were done, but we yeah. just couldn't hear them. <laughs> I will see this outpost for myself. Out of my way. Out of his excellency's way! So what are we doing? I'm gonna mobile order some blue milk. Because yes. There is a massive line. I actually haven't tried the green. So do you think, you haven't Ooh. tried either, and I've tried the blue but not the green. Well, should we get the green this time? Yeah. And maybe we can get the blue another time? Yeah, if I can find where I do it. <laughs> here we go. Thrilling vlog footage So when, <laughs> when you go into your app, it should um, tell, like know where you are from your location. Let's see if it does. I'm not sure we're gonna see that, it's like Yeah, really it's shiny. like very, oh no it doesn't. Okay. Oh no, Hollywood Studios, yeah it does. So we want milk stand. Yeah. Order. And then you can order whatever you want. All right. So Should we're gonna go, go green milk. let's go green. So it's really easy and it just yeah. saves you. Obviously you have to go up and get it, but it's quicker than standing in line. And just here to the side of the milk stand, so obviously there's the line, um, is your mobile order picker. And on your app it will tell you when it's ready. So, taste test. Ian says it smells like lawn. It kind of does, you smelt it as well, didn't you? It does, yeah, it has got a bit of a, a plant smell. Here we go for it. <laughs> yep. It does definitely have like a grassy quality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then it kind of goes fruity, yeah. Sometimes it grows on you, because when I first tried the blue one, I wasn't sure. And then oh, after a while... It's actually nice. Yeah. Yeah, John Drake? Yeah. I looked at everybody's head, I didn't see that. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. It gets better at the end. There's an aftertaste that really reminds me of something. Some kind of candy that I've had before. Yes, I agree. It's almost like a bubblegum flavour. Yes, or just a very slight kind of... It's like fruity bubblegum aftertaste. But it definitely tastes like grassy at the start. <laughs> the first sip I took, I was like, definitely prefer the blue one. But actually, I think you need to drink a whole, or like, like you know, half of yeah. one if you're sharing it, to really get the taste of it. Because at first, yeah. when you drink it, it is weird. Like both of them are a little bit weird. But maybe this one. No, I think I prefer the blue one. I'm looking forward to trying the blue one. <laughs> it's certainly refreshing. Yeah. yeah, it's not milk though, is it? Because I think a lot of people who don't like milk are worried that it's like milky. It's really not. It's more fruity. No, it's not milky. It's I like a slushy. Say. Yeah, it's like a slushy with a fruity aftertaste. Yeah. We're going to check what the wait time is and... 95 is that? We're going to try single rider for the ride. If it's taking absolutely forever, we can always come back out. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. If I get pilot, I'll switch with you. But normally in the single rider line, you don't get pilot because you're kind of filling the spaces. Hopefully it won't be too long. The wait was actually 85 minutes when we got there, so we will see. Okay, so we are a gunner today. I think last time I was an engineer. And we're in. I'm not sure how long that took, maybe like 50 minutes. I'll check with Ian because he was timing it. Good luck to you all. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Pilot on the left, move your stick to fly right and left. Oh. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Engineers, fire the Now, Yes, you got one. Excellent, my friends. 
I didn't pay attention. I don't know but if that's good for a gunner. I don't know. Through, after they took off the damage, there was a little bit of damage. Yeah. I think we made like five and a half thousand. Awesome. I don't know if that's good. But it's cool, isn't it? It's really fun. Yeah, yeah, it is really good. You have two options for how you want to aim. I was going to say that to these guys. I didn't know manual. that. Yeah. And so like with automatic, there's just one button. That that's what I did. <laughs> but I did manual and you can choose high, medium or low. So it like angles where you're shooting. And oh, you can see cool, that happening. Yeah. So yeah, it's really good. I was really vlogging, good. so I figured one, oh, okay. bu one button was a lot safer. Are you so. a gunner as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Today they have a lot of cast members out with signs telling yeah. you which side to stay and over onto. Yeah, and again, we didn't have that in September, it wasn't this busy, but I guess on busy days they don't want a human traffic jam. And we just met Darren there as we were coming off the Millennium Falcon, so hi to you hi if you're Darren. watching. And um, we, I was, Ian was saying the wait was about 50 minutes, I think. That's yeah, what I something thought. like that. Yeah. It's like between 45 and 55, I think. Yeah, that's high for a single rider probably, but you know, it was totally worth it. Really good. Awesome. We've got our Toy Midway Story. Mania. Toy Story. Is it just called Toy it's Story Mania It's just Toy Story Mania. Oh, okay. Ian's doing the same thing I like It you. used to be Midway Mania, right? Yeah, now it's just Toy okay. Story Mania. Well, we've got a fast pass for that in like the next half an hour. Yeah. So, I'll go check that out. out. Meeting my hair again. It's very windy today, it's a hazard. So Alien Swirling Saucers is 40 minutes at the moment, so we probably won't do that yet. No. Having just done a 50 minute wait, I think we'll come back to that another time. Ian's just happy to be looking around because he hasn't seen any of yeah, this yet either. It's so cool. Yeah. And this is another area of the park that does get quite busy, but it's very open, so normally it's pretty good. You can walk around and still see everything. The restroom theming is amazing. <laughs> we won't be doing Slinky Dog Dash today, but we do have a fast pass for it later in the trip. I can't wait for Ian to do this. It's so it fun. So cool. It's really fun. And we're going to make a slow walk over to Toy Story Mania. I'm very excited yeah, to ride that. About five minutes or so five or ten minutes yeah okay it is time for toy story mania 85 minutes in one, in one minute it's time. one minute i think probably we could get in i think let's try we are in i'm yeah. so excited now when i play this with ian he usually wins oh wow you won we are wow with my eyes i think you won last time though so Maybe. i feel like i've got a score to settle okay we'll see what happens <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, I might Suffice win. Suffice to say, I'm the competitive one when Ian it comes to- Ian is super competitive <laughs> with everything, but especially- Which is why I remember that you won last time, okay. because I was so annoyed. Oh yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the poor little alien. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> Someone's not happy. You won. For two reasons, I won. I was winning the whole way though. It was and close. And then you picked me at the end. <laughs> So I was trying to steer Ian into um, this shop. Yeah, I won just about. And also Ian's hungry for lunch, so. Yes, I am. We actually don't have Forky in our Toy Story collection that we have at home. He is very cool. Well, his, arm, his arms are poseable. That's so cute. Some of the stuff though I can get from Shop Disney UK. Mm. And obviously in the States um, you can use General Shop Disney. Put a link below so you can see what kind of stuff you can get when you're not in the parks. The Spirit Jersey is very cool. Pizza Planet has got like little stripy um, sleeves. I think I've seen a Pizza Planet one that's different to this one. And um, I'm guessing, yeah, this would be 64 99 so it's a spirit jersey, so they always are. <laughs> hey, Vorky. <laughs> so long. So we're gonna have a super quick lunch in ABC Commissary. We're hoping it'll be super quick because we yes. then have an Ogre's Cantina reservation. So let's get in here. Moments later. So change of plan. <laughs> we just went to get in line at ABC Commissary and it is absolutely mad in there. So it is 1.30, it's lunchtime, so that's to be expected. So what we're gonna do, we have an Ogre's Cantina reservation at two, so that's only in half an hour. 
we're going to um, go and see if we can just find anything, like a yeah. little snack. And just then, something on the way. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, Monto Roasters or something? We'll see. Yeah, we'll and figure then something out. Go to Ogre's Cantina because we don't want to miss that. Ian's not no. done it before. And also, when we were on our way to ABC Commissary, we met Cheryl and her family. So, hi to you guys if you're watching. So, we have mobile ordered a Galma snack sampler, which mainly is stuff that like Ian would eat. I might pick a couple of the like potato chips off or something. If, but I, if I let you. If you let me. But the, to be honest, we are just like trying to eat we're something. Trying to eat something <laughs> yeah, to keep we us go going. To yeah. Al alcohol on an empty stomach is not a fun experience nope. and all we've eaten today is half a pine cone <laughs> which is not particularly great a chocolate like praline filled pine cone it wasn't a literal pine cone oh yeah no we didn't but it sounded like all we've eaten today is twigs yeah we didn't actually <laughs> munch on a pine cone there's there's a lot better things to eat at disney than that see this isn't quite what we had expected but then we weren't sure what to expect no we didn't really know what we were getting no so there seems to be some scary i guess this meat. is like jerky yeah and there's these like pork rinds I think okay and I don't know a bunch of stuff just see what well, it that's, is that's a with. bit like a prawn cracker oh okay I'll get the uh... yeah get the scary meat out of the way hmm. I think this is a blue potato chip uh-huh so I'll try that it's got some flavoring but it's not spicy or anything and I'm gonna try whatever this is just like a potato chip type thing nice So I think I'm going to get the pipe drive, okay. just because I'm really thirsty, so I've got to go out as well. And you're getting a beer, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have the bad mood to make. Oh, okay. What's your impression? Really cool. It's very cool, isn't it? Yeah, like the theming is amazing. The big atmosphere in here is really wide. So here is my drink that started out blue and now yeah. all of the cherry stuff is like dripped down. It looks kind of gross actually. Yeah, but... it's really cool though. It's like it's like a little lava lamp. Yeah. <laughs> that is really nice. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. It's not alcoholic, but I'm yeah. super thirsty, but yeah, it's really good. How is yours? Right. Mm. Okay. And what really is that called? Uh, this is the bad motivator. Okay. Cool. Yeah, oh, it's really nice. <laughs> You're super zoomed in. Uh, this middle one is what mine started out like. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, we love it in there. It's such good fun. It's really, really good. The drinks were really nice, weren't they? Yeah, the drinks Kate and I had were not like I think we chose badly and didn't love them. So it was actually quite nice to have drinks that we enjoyed this time. So now we're gonna go and find some food because I am starving yes. at this point. Yeah. So we need some. I was gonna say like what what, what do you call it? Substantial food like carbs. Yes. We need carbs. some stuff. Yeah. Need carbs. We need, I need carbs. carbs. I really want some chicken strips and fries. That's what I am craving right now. Yeah, I feel so. like that's what I want as well. Yeah, so we'll probably head for ABC Commissary because they do um, some good chicken strips in there. And we just met Holly there really quick. So hi to you, Holly. Hope you have an amazing time. And Holly's actually going home the same uh, yeah, day same as us. Day as us yeah. yeah, Sorry, bro. You know what you're doing. And finally, we have the chicken strips and fries. I am starving. I'm so excited for this. And I have some ketchup and honey mustard. I am living my best life. So we're all done with our lunch slash late, late lunch. lunch. <laughs> we're still having dinner at Sci-Fi, so it was lunch. And um, there's a dramatic show going on right here. We're just going to go to a couple of shops because we want to look in the one that sells all the Pixar stuff. Wow. Can they hear anything we're saying? I don't know. Probably not. We are standing right next to the stage show. Yeah. We're gonna... In fact, Darth Maul has just come out. We're, we're up against Darth Maul, that's not good. Yeah, and we're gonna go to the Pandora store too, so let's go. Okay, bye. Okay, I've become instantly distracted by these like leggings or PJ bottoms or whatever they are. Oh my goodness. It's like classic Disney like VHS fabric. What is going on? I feel like I might need these in my life. <laughs> so I did make a couple of purchases. I will save that for a whole video. 
and um, we're just going into this store that has all the Toy Story and um, other Pixar stuff in. Ian seems very taken with the uh, <laughs> slinky dog like ears. That is very cute. <laughs> okay, this is adorable. How much is that? Uh, 19.99. That's very very cute. I know. Why don't they do these in an adult size? <laughs> I would honestly wear those all the time. We've got cute baby Lotso. He's very cool. He doesn't smell of strawberries though. Oh, they normally do. Is his tummy? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> it's so cute. And they've got Doug and Russell. This dog had like fallen out and face <laughs> Oh look at this puzzle. That's adorable. It's a two-sided one. So it's got oh, young. It's got young and old. Yeah. Aww. That's so cute. That is cool. Anyone who's like a Carlinelli fan would love that. That is twenty two ninety nine. That'd be such a good gift. Yeah, that's cool. It's Ian's favourite. <laughs> that's very cool. I love that the fish say mine on them. Yeah. Yeah, this is someone I'd like to add to our collection as well. Look at her little jumper. <laughs> or sweater, I should say. How much is she? I've probably looked before. 19.99. Oh, that's not bad. See how she's sparkly. Yeah, that's so cute. This is so pretty. And then there's a super cute little Christmas display. I love that. I bet at night this looks really, really cool. Yeah. So we're just heading back over to Galaxy's Edge to go to the Droid Depot. So excited. And um, we just met Lauren, who is Darren, who we met earlier, as daughter. So yes. that's really cool. So I hope you guys had a great rest of your yeah. day. We are heading into Droid Depot. Time Exciting. to build a droid. Excitement which, levels which are Victoria high. Which Victoria has already named. Yes, I have already <laughs> named it. I love the colour of this bag. It's like a really pale grey with rose gold. It says Black Spire Outpost. And it is $74.99. I've been looking forward to this all day. You see like all the parts. Yeah. Oh, well, there's like random arms and legs. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are ready to roll. We did go ahead and get the package. We got the bag and the personality chip. You wanted to do red? Yeah, we're thinking red, aren't we? Is there is there like red with more white? Yeah, down there. Do oh think? yeah, do you want like the red, yeah, white and black? I think that's better. Well, we need one of these, right? Yes. So this is like his main So you're thinking inside. like this? Yep. That's pretty cool, actually. So you have to basically pick out all the pieces that you see in here. Oh, we need... Is that something that we need? Uh, yep, I think so. So that's like the underneath of the head, I guess. Okay. That? Um, yeah, I think that's that. So we think we want that head. I'm being very particular about the head colour. I love that you get to pick out your feet. Yeah. Yeah, that style. Is that everything we need? I think so. Yeah. So, one, this. Yeah. Two, this. Yeah. Three, this. Four, this. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and put your pieces over here so that you can see your instructions. Cool. You can start by picking two of these to put Ooh. on your motivator. Oh, okay. So what are we thinking of? Do you want red ones? Yeah, I guess so. Red yeah. Okay. And there. Yeah, have you both read? Yeah. So now we need to put them in here. Yeah? Ah, there we go. Hey. Yeah. 
Yeah, he makes sense. Thank you. Inside that black motivator that we started out with is where the on and off switches. There's okay. a sleep mode, so it um, saves the power cells. So if it's not reacting to the remote, it just falls asleep. I'll just turn it off and on again. Right. And Okay. Where do we put his personality chip? Also in that black corner. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I left the droid on. If you ever leave it on, it will automatically fall. So we're going to have to take the bat off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Currently throughout the land, so you okay. have a purple one, right? Yeah. So that's the scoundrel. It's going to react to like the Millennium Falcon, Obus Cantina. It'll probably get a little more active around oh, this area. Okay. Awesome. Do you want to put his little controls in there too? Yeah. His head's trying to roll away already. Meet Ray Ray. So this is Ray as in Star Wars Ray. And my mum's name is Ray with an E. I'm carrying it like a baby as well, which is quite cool. But we're going to see if um, they interact as we go around yeah. and just see what happens. But this is very cool. And we did the package. So it was personality chip, droid and the bag. And I did get annual class discount. I'm not sure, was it on the whole thing? I think it was on the whole thing. Basically we paid the equivalent of £121 or something. Yeah. Um, and it was $160. Yeah. Thereabouts. So that was the, like, the whole thing. So yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> We're very excited. And inside the bag there is a little chain that you put on the back of the head so the head doesn't roll off. <laughs> yeah, because the head is actually not attached to the body it's just magnets it's like that a holds magnet, it yeah. yeah so they said sometimes the head like rolls away so <laughs> and this land looks incredible at night like, yeah. this is just awesome i've never noticed like where you can see inside here in the millennium falcon and as you can see back here it is super quiet now compared to what it was earlier oh oh ray ray is doing something <laughs> Just like looking around. Yeah, something's going on. We've discovered what we think is a droid playground. Because <laughs> several people have their droids out <laughs> going around. There's the other style that you can get. Oh yeah, the R2 style. So that's R2 style and then that's the one that we've got like BB style. Yeah. I think we're now at Baseline Tap House, which we said we were going to do. And it's really nice just chilling out here. I say chilling, Ian's a little bit chilly because it's kind of <laughs> cold, but it's not too bad. I just have a black cherry um, soda because I was super thirsty again and Ian has some kind of beer. Red Seal IPA. An IPA. And Ray Ray is just, <laughs> just like some kind. I don't know, some kind of beer. And Ray Ray is also just hanging out. And we were slightly concerned that Ray Ray might be a bit antisocial at first because uh, <laughs> they weren't making too many noises around, but we did they, we did have some yeah. noises. Yeah. Mostly when and we some left movement. Galaxy's Edge, they seemed quite perturbed. <laughs> yeah, I think Ray Ray didn't like leaving Galaxy's Edge for the first time. So I'm in some very, very yellow lighting here. We are now inside Baseline Tap House because it has got quite cold outside now. And we were in two minds about whether to stay and go for dinner at Sci-Fi Dine-In because we're not that hungry because we had our lunch at ABC Commissary quite late. But to be honest, we do feel like we want to experience it. We love doing sci-fi dining. And now that it's quite close to our ADR time, we just feel like we should do it. So we're just waiting here. Ian's having another beer. And then um, we're gonna go and check in maybe in like 10 minutes. And hopefully we get seated sooner rather than later. And then it will be back to the room because we're pretty tired, aren't we? Yes, I think it's been up in us now. Yeah. We were going really strong most of the day. Yeah. But now we're tired. Now we are starting to flag. <laughs> yeah. So we need to eat and go to sleep. It's been a long day, like we've been up quite early, yeah. Yeah, like we were up at like seven o'clock and then like a whole day in the bar. Yeah. So it's a pretty full on first day for us. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm excited for Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Yes, Yay. Magic Kingdom for the first time for trips is always good. Yeah. So I always love that. that. We've got Crystal Palace for breakfast that we've never done before. Yep. Thank you. So for once, we're actually driving the car. Yeah, Normally, right. I'm a passenger. So my Oreo milkshake is here. This milkshake is so good, I cannot even tell you. I love it. And I'm just getting this and some fries, and Ian is getting a burger. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not very hungry. You're basically ready for sleep. I'm ready to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> Shall I wrap it for you, sir? Oh, that's all right. I saw it just outside. It was an exciting age when everyone seemed to be talking about the future possibilities of space. 
travel. So Ian's burger is here. It's got a lot of onion rings in, which looks really yeah, nice. Yeah, looks really good. And the fries here have like this coating on. They are amazing. They're so good. So pretty much worst time to try and leave. <laughs> Kind of crazy. We are headed for the Skyliner, which doesn't look too bad, thank goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. So we have just exited the Skyliner. Yeah, which was cool. Yeah, did you enjoy it? It was yeah. a shame I kind of wanted dark. to. Yeah, I wanted to ride yeah. it during the day the first time, but it was really like quick way to get back. It was good. It was it really was easy. Really, really good. Which way are we going? Let me just not go Straight the wrong on. way. We also ran into Sharon when we were waiting to get onto oh, yeah. the Skyliner. So hi, and I hope you had a great rest of the trip. And I'm going to finish the vlog here because I'm so <laughs> tired. Somebody fell asleep in sci-fi. I fell asleep in sci-fi. I literally <laughs> could not keep my eyes open. Ian kept elbowing me, and then two seconds later, gently, gently oh, yeah, not elbowing. like in a horrible way. <laughs> But two seconds later, I was gone again. Like it was literally couldn't. that situation where the moment she woke up, as soon as I looked away, she'd fall asleep. <laughs> I mean, we've done pretty well. We stayed virtually till we park were, closing. And we were in the park for like 12 hours today, which yeah. for day one and for us is quite good. It's a lot. So we are going to go to bed. And tomorrow we are going to Magic Kingdom. We've already been through all this. Crystal Palace. First passes, we're excited, and I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, the first in the new series. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and uh, yeah, we will see you in the morning. Look who it is! Hi, Piglet! <laughs> <laughs>